Hey, welcome back guys here to the new maps tournament. That's right, new maps tournament. I know you've been waiting a while for this. It was on Sunday. Today is essentially, is it Tuesday or is it Wednesday? No, it's Wednesday, holy crap. So uh, I've left it a little while, yes I know, but of course I was out of town, so I wasn't on my home PC, wasn't able to VOD anything, but uh, did play in the tournament, not gonna give away any spoilers, okay, until I bring you the grand final series, which I am planning to bring. I'm not sure how good it is, but I'm gonna bring it to you. We have uh, no less than 62 replays from the tournament, all of them on new maps, so we got so much to choose from, so many good players as well. Um, I decided to start on one of the semi-final games here. I uh, jumped straight in because of course I don't know how many videos I'm going to bring for you. But uh, anyway, we have Battle Rushy here with Bravo 3 and Bonus Roo. Sup, sup, yo, yo. It's Bravo 3 and Bonus Roo. So um, this is going to be awesome. We're in the semi-finals. The whole tournament was best of five to the finals, which were best of seven. Okay, and uh, so I'm going to bring as many games as possible. Again, no spoilers. Let's jump straight in. Oh, it's so good. If you want to find where all the, uh, the, the replays are, follow the link in the description. I will have the link to the events tab where all the replays are. 62 replays from the tournament were saved, so you are spoilt for choice here. We're going to go over to the right-hand side, and I didn't even check the colors. Bonus Brew is going to be... Uh, he's going to be Reaper 17. He's his assigned color here. I do believe they both pick random, so they went random v random in this game one of the semi-finals. Best of five, and Bravo 3's got Procom, Brocom, that's right. And uh, Bravo 3, known for playing Zocom, of course, and it's 1.02 plus, so Zocom, they don't have any rank bugs anymore, which means they're actually pretty strong in the early game. Uh, essentially better than GDI, like I said, they got better infantry, they got better shat tanks, they got better hammerheads. Uh, again, their orcas are a bit hit and miss, they can be better, but you don't tend to be. Um, but it really comes down to what's going to happen here. Bravo 3, I mean, Bonus 3 didn't go for anything else. Bravo 3, he, did he, was he setting an engineer down the middle, or was that just me? Was that just me? No, there's no engineer here yet. There's a scouting score down here. There is a spike down here. If you guys can't remember from the map layout video that I gave a few, uh, about, about two weeks ago, go check it out on my channel. It shows you all the new maps. Some of them have been slightly uh, tweaked a bit uh, since that video, which is uh, especially Tournament Undergrounds. You guys wait till you see Tournament Undergrounds. It's totally different now. But uh, we have Bravo 3 over here just going for his second harvester and his second refinery. Pretty standard stuff here. Again, this is the semi-final. Um, so in the other semi-final, you had, I'm not sure if I should give away who's in the other semi-final, but um, no, we'll hold off on that one. If you want to see the results of the tournament, I'll leave links and everything like that, but uh, stay tuned because eventually I am planning to bring the grand final so you get all the spoilers you want in there just to keep things exciting for you. I'm not sure if this is going to be a dual part video because the best of five series goes pretty long, I I'd imagine, so I don't want to make that all into one video. We'll see how long the games are and uh, see how many games uh, that there actually are being played. Um, I haven't actually seen any of these games here, so Bravo 3 going for expansion. Again, on Alpine, a lot of people do tend to go straight down for this expansion here. Once they claim that, they can fall back to this area here. It stops a lot of MCV pushing in the late game because obviously they'd want to push to that field. Anyway, we have, uh, oh, looks like Bonus Root not going for any kind of expansion. He's put down a nerve center, so he's obviously going for some kind of, uh, I'm not sure if he's going, oh, he might actually be going Fast Tech Mecha. I think he's going fast tech mecha as Reaper, obviously. Reaper can do this uh, as well as the other screen factions, but the other screen factions have a lot better follow-ups in the form of like Prodigies and Masterminds and uh, and Coldest and, and Faster Synths and things like that. Reaper don't really have that luxury. The infantry suck pretty bad. I think their Shock Troopers definitely should have had some more attention in um, in designing the faction because really they're supposed to be brute force and their Shock Troopers just aren't that good. Oh, Bravo 3 just gonna escape. But of course those Rifleman Squad now are wounded. They won't be able to actually defeat the Rifleman Squad and uh, or they won't actually be able to defeat the uh, the buzzer swarm unless, unless he stops. Oh no, he stops! But no, he just managed to kill them all there. Uh, Icor C coming in. And look, with the Icor C, he's hardly touched this tip field here, and he's got his uh, tech center. And now he's also going for the expansion down here. Bravo three actually stopped. He stopped. He must have realized. He definitely he definitely scouted it. He stopped and he went for a comm center, and he's going for his upgrades for his infantry as well, which means. He's going for Shatterer Tanks, I believe. Lightning Spike here might, might claim a kill. No, just manages to miss out on that one. But yeah, he's going for Zone Shatterers here. Of course, Mecha is not going to be enjoying those because they can do the double shot. And really, just one shot is going to kill the Mecha. So he's not going to be enjoying that whatsoever. This uh, one Zone Shatterer is getting shot up pretty badly. Yeah, he, oh, he's going to watch out because that APC is actually pretty heavily damaged as well. But now, oh, he might actually be able to get the APC kill. But Bravo 3 not paying too much attention there. And this lightning spike uh, causing a lot of problems for him now, but he manages to finish that one off. Meanwhile, Bravo 3 has made it down to the bottom expansion. He's about to place a structure. We'll see if it's a ref or a war factory. It's going to be a war factory, which is probably good for him because he's going to be up against mechas, I'd imagine. 
Uh, meanwhile, Bonus Druid is here as well. I don't think they can see each other. So they're not aware that either side is there as well. Uh, Harvester on the move. Yeah, here we go. We've got the Mecha Heads, mecha heads here. We've got four Mecha Heads now. He hasn't started building yet, so he's obviously preoccupied doing something else. But uh, both sides just chilling back. We'll see how this one goes. There's a Shatter Tank down here. He's got ABCs and he's got Rockets with the uh, Tiberium Field Suit upgrade. And of course, uh, now a Bonus Druid going to scout this and he's going to see that uh, the armory wants down. Again, Bravo 3 could sell the armor if he wants to. Oh, Storm Column comes down, and that's going to be problems for the Sonic community. They need to finish it off right away. He might want to use the Overcharge Beam just to quickly focus it down, but no, he's not going to use the Overcharge Beam. Gets the Storm Column. That's problems for Bonus I think he was really counting on that one here, because he is in all sorts of trouble. The Mechas need to get down here. Here come the Mechas. They're being built now, but there's four Zone Shatterers here. How is he going to stop four Zone Shatterers? And these buildings getting completely destroyed here. And oh no, that Harvest is getting torn up. And he probably could get the rep as well. Oh no, Zone Shatterers right through the Mecha Peeds. What is Bonus Rue doing? You know you cannot engage with uh, those Zone Shatterers there. They absolutely mince those Mecha Peeds. And he slams most of them as well. A few of them do get around, but he's going to finish off these units here. Another Storm Column appears to be on the way. But uh, he's pulling these guys around. No, these Harvesters are going in the wrong direction. They need to get back over here. We now have five Zone Shatterers there as well. And that's big trouble for him. I imagine he's got more over here. No, he doesn't have any more. He needs some more. There. Otherwise, he's going to counterattack. He might just want to, yeah, he could go straight for the drone player platform here and I reckon he could definitely get it. Storm Column goes down. It's a little bit out of range here. I don't even think he can reach that one Shadow Tank. He's trying to lift off and he loses it. Oh no, that was terribly bad. Mechas, meanwhile, running through here. That one oh, Zone Shadow carves up. Carving up these guys. He's got a veteran one and slams it as well. There's only one Mecha left. And uh, oh, he just, oh, that Mecha runs straight in front. Elite Zone Shadow. This is terribly bad for Bonus Rue. This is, this is just uh, disgusting for Bonus Rue. And he's got an Elite. Uh, zone Shatter, they're killing all those Mecha Peas. He's completely cleaned him up from the center here with just nothing but Zone Shats. And he is in all sorts of trouble. Still going for Mecha Peas now. Would have thought maybe he'd uh, try to bust out a tripod or so. He does have Reaper tripods. But, um, Bonus Root is, is he essentially screwed once he finishes this off. He needs to try to kill him somehow. But again, these Zone Shatter is here. How's he going to take these on? He can't get in range of these guys. He's going to try to kite around, but of course, Bravo 3, he's just going to move in and slowly get closer and closer to the base here. And he has double ref down here at this uh, base, so he's looking pretty good for economy. Oh, blast off those sonic weapons, and oh man, oh, straight down the guts, and he smashes, smashing those mechas. Did he get a Herotno? It's a Heroic Rocket Squad. And that, I think, is going to be game one for Bonus Root. Uh, clearly, on this map, he has not played this map a lot, but neither has Bravo 3, so they're both in the same boat. And there we go, Bonus Root actually going down in just six and a half minutes there. Uh, again, those mechas, I'm not sure what he was doing trying to engage uh, those those zone shatterers. Again, I, I can't imagine, like 5.73 kill death ratio to 0.16. That's a pretty open and shut case there. I mean, they both got about the same amount of money, 51,000 to 49,000, so it's pretty much even there. But of course, uh, Bonus Rue choosing to engage those sonic weapons, and that was going to be GG from the start. I mean, he kind of had to, but I think Bravo 3 just he knew it was coming a mile away. And uh, Bonus Rue just getting completely wrapped up there. Pretty textbook game uh, from both sides. Fast Tech Mecha with, um, obviously, uh, lots of Zone Shatterers there. And Bravo 3 comes out ahead there. You can see it's pretty even in most parts here. Of course, the, uh, the units go up and down for Mechapedes. Making it look like he has a lot of units when it's really just Mechapedes. But again, those Zone Shatterers, they just carve straight through all those Mechas. And uh, again, Bonus Rue is not going to be too pleased about that one there, of course. Um, he probably should have uh, tried to avoid those Shatterers at least. I mean, go around, maybe not expand to that area. But again, a lot can be said and done, but that's how the game went down. So well done to Bravo 3. He takes game one of this best of five. Uh, nice momentum shift there. Bravo 3 will be very happy about that one. Anyway, we'll be back with game two very shortly. All right, here we are, guys, back on, uh, oh, Smash Town USA. Hell yes, second game that I'm casting from this one now, uh, as if you saw before in one of my previous videos. But we are in game two, Bra Bonus Rue versus Bravo 3. Again, both sides selected to choose as random in this game here. Of course, uh, Bonus Rue uploaded all the replays, so it's always going to show his faction there. But uh, he did go down in game one, so Bravo 3 has a one-up here. And Smash Town, hell yeah, can't wait for it. Every game here is going to be on new maps. Let's jump straight in here. And of course, we have the ungrown blue tip. Let's have one little bit of crystal here. Blue crystal harvest to generate extra resources. Oh, I didn't know that. That's definitely something uh, worth knowing. We have uh, construction. Yeah, no, what do we got down here? Hand of Nod, Black Hand, so Bonus Rue is he, yeah, Bonus Rue is the dark blue color now. He's drawn Black Hand, Bravo 3, sup, sup, yo, yo, what have you got, buddy? You've got Nod, so it's Nod versus Black Hand, uh, oh no, Mock, did I, I didn't even read that properly. It's Mock versus Black, oh, Shadows, he's going for Shadow Teams. 
He's going for Shea. He's calling them in. There is a slight delay on it. Sells off straight away. Where are they coming from? There they are. Again, they do have a slight delay because obviously in 1.02 plus when uh, they fixed the bugging of the shadows, obviously they became ridiculously powerful and everyone was just doing them every single game. But Bonus Root might have detected the stealth there. Infantry can still detect stealth even if it's flying, which is pretty crazy. I mean, they, I'm not sure about Vertigo's, but they definitely can reveal shadow teams. And Bonus Root, I think he's going to get the War Factory down and this is the reason why they put the delay on here. Unless he... Oh no, oh yes, 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 he places it now, but he's going to lose the uh, the power plant, and of course he didn't realize it because he's actually queuing another refinery, he might have to stop there, might want to finish off the Cabal squad there because it's just another very easy kill for him, but he's not going to cancel this refinery, he's going to go for it, and again, that's going to take an awfully long time to actually build that, and Raider Buggy comes out, but Bravo 3 is long gone, he's like, hey, I'm out of here bud, I don't want to go near that buggy because it's just going to kill those, uh, those guys so quickly. Meanwhile, Mock Squads versus Black Hand. Black Hand, obviously, or Professor Cabals in this case, will obviously win that fight. Bravo 3 has his ref down. He's got his second harvester out now. Bonus Root only has one harvester. He actually, did he build a second buggy, or is that just not, not me? Let's have a look around there. He's got his second harvester out now. He's just about to drop his ref, but uh, Bravo 3 needs to be careful. Oh, the buggy's actually moving out, so uh, Bravo 3's gonna be like, hang on a sec, there's actually no power plants here. He might just wanna be a real pain and throw down some of these uh, artillery beacons because they give him vision for a very long time. They're stealthed, and of course they can draw fire if his shadow teams get in trouble, and they're nearby. But uh, anyway, he's gonna come around here, he's gonna see that there are two harvesters. Third harvester is coming out now, so essentially similar economy, but his MCB has made it almost all the way to this expansion. Uh, Bonus who does have impeccable scouting, he's got a scout at either side, and there you go, finishing off that power plant and forcing Bonus Rue just to spend up getting more and more power plants when really he kind of wants to be either expanding or getting another war factory or putting down some black hand upgrades or something like that. And again, forcing him to drop these shredder turrets as well. And, Bra and Bo no, no, uh, Bravo 3 almost escaping stealth detection there. I think he might just run into the building. No, he's not going to run into the building. What's going on? Maybe he's going to run into this building here. He's going to take off and fly. Again, I'm not sure why he didn't just... Oh no, he's going to fly out of the water. That's still pretty intelligent. He could just come straight back as soon as the buggy goes around as well. And I think he is, yep. Bonus Rue losing sight of them now. And it's pretty much impossible to find out where they've gone because stealth don't have any kind of... Uh, uh, visual impairment on in Command and Conquer, which is the way we like it. Stealth should be stealth. Second Wharf actually comes down, and of course, Bravo 3, he's going to see that. He's going to be like, alright, he's got a second one there. And bam, takes out the power as well. And of course, that's a pretty big weakness, because that Shredder turret now can't do anything. A bike does come out, but of course, the bike isn't going to be able to do anything here. Uh, he's going to have to move out. It could be double bike, or is it war? No, Scorps? No, it's going to be double bike. What have we got? Oh, what's happening over here? Didn't even see this. Bonus Rue has some bikes out. And he's actually going to score a harvest kill. Bravo 3 does have some units here, but uh, I think he's going to lose a few of them. This one Scorp tank is in all sorts of trouble, but Bonus Rue didn't even see. He's got so many bikes here already, and Bravo 3 is in all sorts of trouble. He does have a second war factory, which means he can dual pump these Scorps. He might want to move that harvest around because it's, yeah, it's, oh, he could have definitely uh, saved some shots on it if he wanted to. These two Scorp tanks now going to town on these bikes, but there's quite a few bikes here. And Bravo 3 is in all sorts of trouble, but Scorpion tanks are reinforcing, but of course more bikes reinforcing as well. And he's just focusing down the Scorpion tanks, there's just not enough of them here. Uh, another one come out again, the reinforcements are starting to trickle in for uh, Bravo 3, but again, he's losing too many Scorpion tanks. There's just too many bikes here, and they're overwhelming his forces now. And he's starting to lose harvests, he's down to one harvester. And I think, yeah, no M Blast coming out as well. And he's got a few Scorpion tanks here, but again, his Scorpion tanks are just getting milked one at a time. And that's exactly what Bonus Rue wants. And he's going to get the last harvest here, and I think... Bravo 3 is all out of cash, and I think he may have just lost that game pretty quickly again. Going Shadow Teams was okay on this level because it's very small. You might be able to get the War Factory cut off, but if you don't, uh, you're definitely going to be weak, and I think Bravo 3 just lost game 2 pretty quickly there, so there you go. I think it's going to be all be over for him, um, and Bonus Rue has actually expanded down here with a hand of nod. Did he capture his MCB? I think he's captured his MCB as well. Yes, Bonus Rue has control of that, so Bravo 3 being completely shut down here. I'm not sure why he's not tapping out of this game. He's definitely all over here, but Bonus Rue, uh, very nice play there. Knew what he needed to do, and uh, came through for a nice win here. Again, not sure why Bravo 3 is sticking around. Uh, maybe he's just savoring the map because it is pretty beautiful. There we go. But again, Bonus Rue quickly snares one back, and that's what he needed. Uh, he's drawn the series level 1-1, one, one. and again, it doesn't matter how one-sided the games are, we're going to cast them all, because it is fun to watch how the games progress, especially when it's so close with these guys here, of course. Bravo 3 kind of won the first game reasonably one-sided. I mean, he made some pretty good decisions, but uh, Bonus Rue there, again, did what he needed to do, and you can see the resources tab shows there. The Shadow Team's not quite working out. They did a fair bit of damage, but of course, he just didn't see the bike follow up in time, and that jumped him, and of course, he couldn't recover from that at all. Uh, as you can see there, the bike jumped 
up to see yeah, a Bravo 3. If you, a little bit longer, just an extra, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, he would have had more Scorp tanks. He could have focused the bikes down way quicker. And he, if he moved some of his harvesters around the wharf, actually, like he did the first one, he could have delayed some kills there. Uh, again, there was an op opportunity there for him to uh, to get into that game, but again, just didn't quite have the time. Just right now, 35,000 to 19,000. You can see there, uh, bonus route getting 15,000 more in a game that's that short, only five minutes. That was really short. Um, you can see that 15,000 is going to give bonus route a pretty good heads up there. Of course, uh, kill death ratio well, it wasn't too bad, 0.74 to 1.21. So bonus route coming out ahead there again. But of course, going for attack bikes. And again, a little bit longer and the Scorp tanks would have been cool for Bravo 3, would have definitely put him back into the game or or, or worked out really well for him. And again, losing his MCV, obviously just uh, just uh, topping it off for bonus through there. Nice shutdown for bonus through and he's going to draw the series level. Again, only a five minute game, not much to uh, say uh, in regards to that match. So anyway, stay tuned. We got game three coming up for you right now. All right, welcome back, guys, to Game 3, Bonus Rue versus Bravo 3. That's right, and both, once again, both guys chose to select random. Again, there's a bit of strate strategy in picking random because the other guy doesn't know what faction you are, which really limits their rush capabilities until they determine who they're up against. Especially if you're against a GDI, you don't know which GDI it is until you actually see a barracks because you can't tell just by the rifleman squad. You can with Nod because it's easy. Again, with Screen, it's a little bit hard as well because all the buzzers look the same. But uh, again, we have Game 3 from Twisted Rift. That's right, more custom map action again uh, Bravo 3 taking a pretty nice first game there really shut down bonus through his mecha play absolutely stomped him but again bonus through turning it around in the second game not letting the shadow teams get him down and just managing to hit that perfect window just in time to crush uh, Bravo through to take through a nice victory again but let's jump into the game here twisted riff hell yeah we got another dry blue field in the center of the map here and again we'll whip over here and we're gonna see I believe it's Bravo 3 has dealt a GDI faction Let's see what kind of faction is up against. Again, there's really two there's two spikes that each side should be able to take. He's Zocom again, so he's gonna be pretty happy about that. Again, especially on Twisted Rift, artillery isn't gonna be as important. Uh, because Zocom obviously don't get any because it's a big open map. But again, you've got your spike here, which is the normal position. Another one down here, you should be able to score easily enough. But again, most sides seem to expand to this field here, actually, and then go and grab the blue tip, which is right there, other than uh, other than expanding down here and then along here, which puts you at risk, especially if the enemy expands there. So I think it's actually safer to move across here. Of course, you're a little bit further away and moving closer to your enemy, but again, it allows you to take or contest the blue field once it gets grown. Of course, it will be grown at that stage of the game. Uh, bonus route is not going to be, is he gonna be Reaper? He's gonna be Reaper 17. So Reaper 17 versus Zocom again. Oh no, this Rifleman Squad is enclosing on this Assimilator. And I think, oh no, no, that Buzzer Swarm's gonna draw fire. And he actually managed to take out the squad, which is pretty cool as well. And of course, he can sit on the Tiberium and he's just gonna heal straight back up as well. So bonus route, nice work there. Uh, we have, yep, just taking his second spike as well. So cleaning up any scouts that were down here. I'm not sure if there was. Uh, those riflemen appear to have, might have been shooting at something. Are there any shells on the ground? Can't see, unfortunately. But uh, he's gonna move around. I do like to send a scout around the bottom of this, this area here and along into the enemy base. Oh, we have a shard walk out as well. Just cutting down this rifleman squad here. Uh, maybe he was going to try to run for the structure or something like that, but again, that's going to stop Bravo 3 from scouting. Uh, it doesn't really matter because there's no nerf center down, which really, if you Reaper 17, you're going to rush. You're probably going to Deb Core rush because that's what they're good at. I mean, that's their, their number one rush. Again, they can send Disintegrators. It's essentially not very good, but um, I guess they can throw a few Seekers out as well. But again, Reaper 17, aside from Deb Core, their rushing capabilities aren't that great. <laughs> rushing Russian? <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. Both these guys in Russia are you at the end. Four Zocom harvesters out now and where have you gone Bravo 3? You got yeah no you're making your way to this expansion again this seems to be the stable mark initially I thought you expand down but after playing a fair few games on this uh, this map and losing I have determined that maybe it is actually better to expand on the across version here. Again you've got an area to defend over here there's this rift or this this uh, 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 blockage here obstruction which causes guys to filter around it a little bit. We have a battle marker over there, and uh, Bravo 3 spots the nerve center. He's like, hang on, what are you doing, Bonus 3 now? It's gonna be important. Is Bonus 3 gonna go for a refinery and, and like crawl, because he's got build radius just about here? Or is he gonna go for a tech center? Was he trying to hide it from Bravo 3? We have six harvesters as well from Bonus 3. If he builds a seventh harvester, it's definitely gonna be a ref. And I, I have a feeling it is gonna be another harvester. It is, it's another harvester. He's already pulling harvesters as well, so I think he's gonna go for a refinery. Built a little bit faster, be a tech center, yeah, even though refineries do take a long time to build. 
Uh, Bravo 3 sending out more scouts. This is really good from both players. Again, buzzers and riflemen still on the field in all directions. Just keeping these uh, scouting paths open, especially if you're going to eco behind this, you need to know what's going on. And Bravo 3, he thinks it's going to be mechas again. He thinks it's going to be mechas because he's got zone shatterers. He's got six harvesters on his main as well. And he's got, are these NG APCs? No, no NG APC. He's got one, one ref down as well, so he has actually pretty far ahead. He's almost got AP ammo done. Farah, he's been a busy little Bravo, hasn't he? And he's got this Shard Walker over here, putting down the Armory as well. And I think Bravo 3 looking to, uh, he, he seems to be in a reasonably strong position here. I mean, all double gravity Storm Rider Stabilizer. Messed that up pretty bad. Anyway, he's got dual gravity stabil stabilizer storm. I don't know why I just repeated that. <laughs> but of course, these rockets, again, having the infantry upgrade. And he's got a couple of APCs with AP ammo. I mean, essentially not very powerful, the AP ammo against air, but it's going to help, especially with the rockets there. And if a buzzer swarm comes in, well, the APCs are there to clean up. Of course, the shatter tank's not going to be too helpful. More shatter tanks are coming, and he's still building them as well. He has actually pulled a harvester maybe to go to the blue field first. No, I think it's just going straight straight for the expansion. Second ref comes down as well. He's gonna chill here, not actually attacking the spike. I guess it's pretty easy just to capture that one. I mean, it's right there. I think he probably would be looking to take that. Uh, he might wanna just sell off the armory as well. Uh, meanwhile, bonus route has got attenuated force fields as well, so he knows. All right, I'm up against Zocom. What is Zocom good at? Infantry, and they're good at air, so I'm gonna get um, upgrades to my shard walkers really early on. Again, he's not going to be enjoying that zone shadow there. Is he going to use the blast? He's not going to use the blast just as of yet. He might as well use the blast. Come on! Why doesn't anyone use that? Uh, especially if the uh, so the shadow is about to go down as well. You might as well use that overload. That overload beam because it does a lot more damage than the main cannon. Yeah, it powers you down, but it doesn't really matter if you're going to die anyway. And uh, these last shadow is going down now, but they did thin a lot of these uh, a lot of these shard walkers. And of course, there's two photon cannons here, which are pretty good for. Uh, for a screen as well. I'm not sure where the Storm Riders are. There they are. Here they are. They came in from behind and there's only three of them. Where are the rest of them? I'm not sure if they've been raiding uh, Bravo's base or what, but he's being destroyed over here. What happened here? No, no harvesters are down at all. Far out. Bonus Rue not building. I mean, he's got he's got the, all the landing pads are deployed, so where are they? I wonder. I wonder where he's got them. He must have lost a few of them. Yeah, no, he must not have just built it. He might, maybe he just abandoned that uh, production when he saw what he was up against. Yeah, maybe he, that's probably most likely what he did. I can't imagine he would have just lost that many Storm so fast without me seeing, especially when Bravo 3 has got no harvests missing. And he's in bonus for his field as well. So bonus for making a good decision with the photon cannons and the shard walkers, obviously, but it's just not going to be enough at the moment. Spending all that money on those gravity stabilizers and the Storm Riders, and they haven't done enough yet. We can see Bravo 3 is making some movement over in the middle of the map as well. And Storm Riders down here. Looks like Bravo 3 already moved his uh, MCV, and he is going to manage to land all these guys before the Storm Riders can take them out. One third B-35 goes down, but it uh, doesn't matter. It already dropped off its cargo. Meanwhile, Bravo 3 is pulling back here and trying to camp out this field. Bonus is not going to be too happy with that. Tech Center is down. I'd imagine a uh, tripod would be on its way soon. That's definitely going to help him crack the APCs, and then the Shard Walkers can clean up. But he's going to lose a Harvester. Oh, that Rocket Volley. It's so devastating. More Shard Walkers coming in now. There's a few base defenses here. Uh, yeah, we've got Buzzers and Photon Cannons here. Let's see if Bonus Root can hold. Of course, the short, uh, Shard Walkers can absorb a lot of damage here. And he's thinning the APCs. Once the APCs are down, I'd imagine he'd be able to walk his way in here. There is a uh, Zone Shatterer over there. Now, he's got Heroic Rockets. And maybe he doesn't have enough. No, he's going to pull back. Bravo 3 going to pull back. Realizing he doesn't want to sit too far in range of these buzzer highs. And, and if he draws these zone shatterers out, or not the zone shatterers, the, the shard walkers, he can just kill them without worrying about the uh, the uh, anti infantry defenses down here. There's a pretty big battle going on. Meanwhile, Bravo 3 is setting up in the bottom expansion down there. We can see he's going to snipe that harbor down. Going to jump real quick. He has got an expansion down. He's not getting any blue tip though, which is important. He's got the blue tip under his control. He needs to harvest some of that. Again, he's putting a lot of pressure on this base. And Zocom rockets and shat tanks really causing a nightmare for our bonus. He's got a lot of rockets there still. He really hasn't lost any of them at all, or very few of them. And it's constantly reinforcing this position as well. Bonus route is trapped. He's trapped. There's something happening down here. There's an infantry force. Blue Shard is done, which is good for bonus route. But, uh, oh no, these harvesters are over here and they're coming in. Oh no, he's getting completely ripped to pieces here. He just cannot control his, uh, his units here. Again, his base isn't far enough forward. He's just not far enough forward here and he's losing these forces over here. He might be able to clean up with buzzers and rockets, but again, he just lost all of his harvesters and that is going to be game three for uh, Bravo 3. He actually came through again storming with his favorite faction of course the Zocom and just continue reinforcements a lot of pressure bonus route didn't have his base forward enough 
he needed he needed better build radius near that field so he could put the base defenses further forward. That would have definitely have allowed him to hold a lot easier, maybe even hold the attack completely. But that was a massive thorn in his side there. And of course, Bravo 3, 76,000 and just 70,000 a bonus through. So there you go, Bravo 3 only got six grand more. That's surprising. Again, had the blue tip under his control, just wasn't harvesting it. He simply bypassed it and went to the other field. But of course, it's not going to matter too much. 1.89 kill death ratio to 0.53. Nice work with the blue shard and the attenuated force fields for bonus tree. But again, not having the drone ship far enough forward. Couldn't put the base defenses in the Tiberian field. They were way back on the other side of the Tiberian field. And he really needed their help to hold the attack. Because he was holding his base, but he just couldn't hold the field. Again, that could have made all the difference in the world. There's seven and a half minutes. So Bravo 3 is 2-1 at the moment. He's just one game away from going to the grand final in the uh, game replays it's, uh, October what's the date <laughs> what was the date October 9th was it 19th 23rd 22nd 21st 20th is that right 20 1 2 3 yeah 20th yeah the 20th of uh, October so uh, there you go I had to quickly work that one out <laughs> but uh, anyway Shard Walker favorite unit there from uh, from both both actually getting more money at the start then you can see once Bravo 3 started camping the field bam cut him off completely cut him off and again, well played Bravo 3, again, one-upping bonus through pretty quickly in that game there. So, uh, nice uh, delivery from both of these guys here and well done to Bravo 3. We are going into game four, possibly the last game of the series. Bravo 3 is up 2-1, needs just one more game for victory. Can bonus through make a comeback or is Bravo 3 going to seal this one out? Stay tuned and find out.